So Microsoft just released a change on to the certification for the Microsoft Azure Data Engineer. So earlier on, you had to actually go ahead and give two exams in order to go ahead and achieve the certification as a Microsoft Azure Data Engineer. So first did exam DP200, which was focusing on the implementation aspects of data solutions on Azure. And then it exam DP201. This is more from a designing aspect of Azure data solutions on the cloud. Now what Microsoft has done is that they have actually gone ahead and launched now a new exam, that's DP203. So this is a data engineering exam on Azure. So now, instead of giving two exams, that's DP200 and DP201, these are going to be replaced by just one single exam, that's DP203. So in order now to go ahead and get certified as an Azure data engineer, we just have to go ahead and give one exam, that's DP203. Now, obviously with this change, there are students coming to me and asking me, what exam should I take? Should I go ahead and give exam DP200, DP201? Or should I go ahead and give exam DP203? So for them, let me go ahead and give some points to consider. The first point, exam DP203, is going to become available as a beta exam on the 23rd of Feb. So there is still time for that. Now, during this beta phase, which runs for about three months, so you can go ahead and give the exam, but when you give the exam, you will not get the results immediately. The results will come after 16 weeks. So this is the first major point. Do you want your results right now? If that's the case, then you should consider the previous exams of DP200 and DP201. Else, if you are ready to wait for the results, that's 16 weeks, then you can go ahead and give exam DP203. So the results might come, let's say, in June end, if you go ahead and give the exams after 23rd of Feb. Now, the entire reason of the beta exams, I've given a lot of beta exams in the past. So Microsoft is just trying to assess whether they're asking the right questions in the exam itself. So another major difference between normal exams and the beta exams is the number of questions and the level of difficulty. So in a normal exam, let's say DP200, so you might get, let's say around 40 questions, 45 questions, but when it comes to a beta exam, you can expect somewhere around 60 to 65 questions in the same amount of time. And obviously the level of difficulty for a new beta exam will be slightly higher. And the reason I'm saying that is because there won't be any sort of training material available for a new exam. It's a new exam, right? So you can't expect training material to be available at that point in time. Whereas for exam DP200 and exam DP201, you will get exams, you know, the training material readily available. So that's one point to consider. So if you're going to go ahead and give exam DP203, then you need to have a lot of hands-on experience when it comes to working as an Azure data engineer. Also, you'll have to rely a lot on the Microsoft documentation when it comes to learning for this exam. Now, the next thing to consider is that students may be halfway in the learning when it comes to exam DP200 and exam DP201. And if they are considering to go ahead and give the exam in, let's say, the next two months, then they should continue on that path, go ahead and complete giving exam DP200 and exam DP201. So these exams, the old exams are going to expire at the end of June. So there is still time to go ahead and give the exams. So this is another important point. How far are you in the learning process? Are you already, you know, prepared to go ahead and give the exams? If that's the case, go ahead and give the Current exams, which is there, that's exam DP200 and exam DP201. Now, when it comes to the objectives, so over here in hand, I have the exam objectives for exam DP200 and exam DP201. And I have the new objectives, that's exam DP203. Now, this is an exhaustive list of objectives. So when you look at the old exams, even though we have two exams, right? We have objectives in both of the exams, but they were kind of overlapping. So if you had studied, for exam DP200, 
you have to learn a little bit more about designing data solutions and then you'll be prepared for exam DP201. So there was, you know, not much of a big learning curve to actually go ahead and give exam DP201. But when you look at exam DP203, there are a lot of objectives that are being covered over here. So there's a lot to learn. But having said that, what I like about these objectives are they seem to be more in tuned onto what is the realistic work of a data engineer. So as an example, if I just go on to, uh, let's say, you know, developing a batch processing solution. So you have objectives of handling duplicate data, handling missing data, handling late arriving data, and all of this is important as a data engineer. So while the objectives are very exhaustive for DP203, I like the objectives. They seem to be in tuned, as I said, to a data engineer. So now as a student, if you are going to go ahead and give exam DP200 and exam DP201, now if you've gone ahead and given those exams, you can still go ahead and refer to the objectives of exam DP203. And what I mean by that is that you can actually go ahead and use this as a reference for learning. You don't have to go ahead and give the exam. You can just go ahead and refer it to what should be the criteria of being a good data engineer because the learning should not depend upon objectives depend upon exams in the end you want to become a data engineer on the azure platform that's what's important right so you can go ahead and use this as reference if you're going ahead and doing the older versions of the exam and lastly obviously is the cost perspective so obviously over here in exam DP200 and exam DP201, you're giving two exams. So that means you're paying 165 USD for both of these exams separately, right? But over here in this case, you are only giving one exam. So the cost is half when it comes to exam DP203. But again, you know, I said it, it depends upon your current situation. What is your current requirement? What is your current goal? So remember, if your goal is ready to become a data engineer, just don't make cost has a factor because in the end, the benefits will just definitely outweigh the cost. So again, depending upon what is your current situation, what is your roadmap, what is your final objective, you can go ahead and decide on which exam to take. So I hope I've been helpful, just trying to help students along the way in trying to make a decision because I've seen in the last couple of days, there's been a lot of discussion on what exams to take.